Hello and welcome to Fluke Fridays. This is episode number 18. And what we're gonna do talk about today is we are going to actually do an unboxing of a new thermal imager. New is relative. New to me, um, I haven't got my hands on one of these yet. It's a TIS 75 plus. But we're gonna do an unboxing on that, go over a couple of the features. I hope you guys really enjoy it, but here, let's get to it. Obviously this is the box, I haven't opened it yet. So this is what it's gonna look like. It's gonna come in a hard, um, hard plastic case. So a hard plastic fluke case, like an ammo case, that you'll see a lot of the fluke thermal imagers and other products sold in are brought to market in. And let's see what it looks like. So inside this case, you're gonna find, let's set this case to the side. You're gonna find a bag like this. And the bag will come um, with some straps so you can throw it over your shoulder. If you don't wanna carry the hard plastic case on the job site, you can just use this, um, this bag, okay? As we open it up, we're gonna see several things. We've got a battery. We've got a micro SD card and an adapter. A handle. I think this is gonna be the charger. We'll get this out in a second. USB cable. The camera itself. And a couple other things. Oh, another strap. There's the strap that you would clip onto the bag. So let's get this organized. Okay, so you can see everything we got. We have the camera itself, the TIS 75 plus. It has a manual focus. You can see from the front, we have a visual image and a thermal camera right there. Um, this comes with two batteries. I think Fluke right now is shipping one battery at a time, although the one I got did have two batteries, so maybe it's a little older. I think they are shipping one at a time with this uh, supply chain shortage and they'll send you a vow or they'll There'll be a voucher included, so you can get the second one in 2022, when the supply chain, the global supply chain, kind of gets ironed out a little. So I'm letting that boot up. Other things you're gonna see is you've got a dock charging station where your um, batteries go into. They can only go in one way because it's got this little notch and little notch right there, so you slide those in. And then obviously this goes here and that plugs into the wall, except how do you plug that into the wall? Good question. You get accessories from around the world on what kind of plug you like. Because I'm in the United States, I'm gonna use this plug. That had to be horribly loud for you guys, sorry. Maybe I can edit it out with the, uh, software, with the editing software. And you snap that on there and then you're good to go. USB cable for transferring, strap, hand strap. If you're right-handed, you're gonna put it on the right side. If you're left-handed, you're gonna put it on the left side. You'll see right here, there's a little thread. Uh, if I can get it to focus. See that little thread? That goes right in here. So we do this. Okay. And then this goes through here, which I might have to take the battery out. One second. Put this in. Now you're good to go. You'll notice that really um, locks in there well, like all the Fluke thermal imagers. One of the better attributes on these things is they are tough and they stick with it well. Um, so. Anyways, our camera is firing up. You will see this also comes with it. It's just a quick start guide. Um, you can open that or use the user manual. Okay. 
Ooh, ah. Look, it's got the new sliding back and forth for the IR Fusion. That's gonna be cool, I'll show you that in a second. Shows you how to connect, select, take images. Uh, anyways, that'll keep you up at night. So, I'm gonna let this fire up. Flip your lens cover open if you're not seeing any difference in image. So, there we go. My hand, if I mess with this focus, I'm messing with it with one finger. I'm trying to get it to be in better focus. We're getting close. Ooh, there, that's looking pretty good. So you can see, and I'm just doing it with the focus wheel with my finger, scrolling that back and forth. I'm gonna squeeze the green trigger, and I'm gonna freeze an image. Green trigger is what I squeeze. If I squeeze the black trigger, that would just initiate the laser. So you can do several different things here. You can edit, save. If you wanted to save an image, we could do that. I'm gonna go back and go back to live and show you guys this. So you can't see that, um, uh, my little case there, but well, now you can with my fingerprint. But if I scroll, watch. Ooh, ah, you can do uh, blend your visual all the way to 100% visual and then go back and have more thermal until it's 100% thermal. The reason this is nice is if you're in an area where you can't really see, um, there's not a lot of thermal contrast, but you want to see what the visual image is. When you do capture an image, you will get visual and thermal, like all these cameras. I'm not going to go through all these menu settings, but you can see it is touch screen. You can change your settings if you want to change your units. Go to Fahrenheit. There we go. So on and so forth. So anyways, I'm going to go back. <clears throat> this is a great little camera. Um, you can get this. I think the list price is just over $5,000. So buying it through any distributor, you get this less than $5,000. Um, leave any questions or comments you have on this or any of the other Fluke Thermal Imagers below. And I'll try to get to them. But this was an unboxing. I'll try to take one more picture of everything that comes with it just so you can see it all at one time. Thank you guys for spending time with me today on Friday. I hope you have a great weekend. Take care.